Even with Storm, dog. Like that was a whole that's a whole retro kind that they put in there because honestly you should feel a little bit more disrespected that they put him with Storm because they're the two black characters from Africa. So they put them together. That was the only reason Black Panther and Storm was even together because for as long as Black Panther was this chick was with this chick named Monica off and on. That was his big love interest. Monica, I forgot it. Monica Lynn, I think it was. And like, yeah, that he was this American chick. She was just regular ass black chick. She was a singer, and he just he, he just dug her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but at some point, some writer thought oh, it would be interesting to put him with Storm, which is an interesting thing. And he retroactively said that they knew each other since they were teens, and it was like long lost loves. But that's like the '90s, early 2000s. I mean, this is how recent we're talking. So when they put up this dumbass meme of oh they're getting it wrong, how come Storm ain't there? Bitch, Storm ain't been there. <laughs> Fuck, y'all just trying to find something to have a problem with. Son, that boy, that's Let Black right. Panther live. That's I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hola. Let's go, go, go. Uh, we are home. My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only get started now. Cause we own ya. Everybody think they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and not my homie now. Cause we own ya. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'ma burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. What kind of forever? The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. The revolution will be live. And major big ups to all the black people that came in all the African wardrobe what? and dashikis and dresses. Hey, and, bro. And first and foremost, we was pretty motherfucking fresh. Yes, yeah, agreeable. Y'all need to go follow any of us on the Instagrams or the Facebooks. Because, man, like when, when, when we stepped out, man, the majestic purples and the blacks and the golds and the greens. Oh, yes. and the, Oh, my goodness. But oh, then yes. when you get there and you see, we are not alone. Oh, oh no. Bruh, black people came with the shits tonight. And I feel like they came with it all over the country for the premieres. Like, I'm just looking look at, at all these pictures. these pictures, man. Like, they was coming with it, bruh. Like, I'm we. loving every piece of it. Because like you said yeah. earlier, it started as seemingly a joke. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. Like, that shit started out as a whole meme. Like, people going to be decked out and they African and everything. But no, like, that shit is like a phenomenon. Like, people was out in everything, especially us. Yeah, okay. but and looking through these pictures and looking at just black people across the world at this across the world, across the country at the very least at this premiere, it just, it just felt like unity. It feels like unity. It was it was just beautiful, like nothing gaudy, nothing cheesy looking. Like I mean, just nice, yeah. just nice all around. You know. I mean, we were so fresh. People wanted to take pictures of us. And as we soon as them. we stepped up, as soon as we step on the scene, they was like, yeah. "Wait, pause. Got to get y'all." We like, like, stepped up the boat clean. Why? Not? <laughs> and Why I feel not? like that happened to everybody that was dressed up. Like from people that wasn't dressed up, just like looking in, like, "Man, y'all did that. We did that." You yeah, feel me? And no doubt. It, was, it was just all love, bro. I just, man, I it, it was. Uh, what about to say? Um, I lost my train of thought. I just lost my train of thought. But yeah. 
Uh, it, it, it was just know. very satisfying. I'm going to just say that. It's just very satisfying to see, and I think that's something that we should do constantly, you know, right, right. It when all, the time is right. It right. all felt like we all connected back to our homeland in one, you know, one moment, just by coming together in this kind of African wear and celebrate like this. It, was, it almost felt spiritual and, you know, Ritualistic in a sense. Yeah, yeah. You and it was about the energy. It was a de it was definitely a celebration. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like this was a celebration, man. It just, it just showed us, you know, just yes, yes. Thank, yeah. thank you, black people. Like, 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 uh, your girl say, man, I love us for real. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck. All right, all right, all right. Fresh off of seeing that motherfucking Black, Black Panther, Panther before most motherfuckers, Woo! man. Yes, indeed, man. Well, as usual, this is that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell that Mr. Out or you ain't gonna find me. And as usual, well, I'm here with my brothers. Well, you already know this your boy, D Mac. And you can fuck with me on any and all social media platforms at French Bread underscore Kid. And yeah, we about to. Uh, talk about this Black Panther because it was just everything. War Nas, your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo. You can find me on Facebook at Joseph Alpha Man Pines, Instagram Alexander the Ape Three, and well, <laughs> what kind of forever we in this bitch? In this bitch. <laughs> and if uh, what's up, y'all? It's Raheem Glassby here, joining these boys. I had to be on this one, y'all. Because that motherfucking Black Panther is amazing. Amazing. And you can find me anywhere. I underscore the great Glassby. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Momentous occasion, man. We finally got to see Black Panther. For people that's been following the podcast since the first episode, man, I fell off it totally, dog. But we used to have a fucking Black Panther countdown every episode, every week, countdown of days when it was at like 400 uh. something days. Like, we used to do this shit every week. Well, I used to do this shit every time we did it, and I just. I fell off it totally, and I was, and I, yeah, I remember saying like on one of the first episodes, I, I think I said to you, D, I was like, damn, I think it'd be real interesting if we have a countdown, and then when you get to the last day, um, you know, it'd be like one day left after you have yeah. four hundred, it'd be a cool thing to break down. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't get to that, but we got um, to the premiere. <laughs> that we did, and we got to get to that bitch early. First off, shouts out to all our brother and sister podcasts. Your thirty podcast. I know you said you wanted to do a joint review of this movie, and we will still do a joint review with you, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yes. This is just a live reaction to what we just saw while it's fresh on our brains and we still excited about shit and everybody talking about us, we're we going to see this bitch again. I know I need to see yeah, it again. Yeah, have to. Before I even sit down and give it that real review of like breaking shit down like we do normal movies right now, I need to just give my emotional blah! Yeah. You hear me? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Shouts out to your 30 podcast. Shouts out to the Misbelief Radio Show podcast. The yes. We'll Figure This Out podcast. The Trilliterate podcast. The Three The Hard Way podcast. The Fuck What You Heard podcast. Black Guys Next Door podcast. Metal Hand of God podcast. Brooklyn Ladies of Therapy Noir podcast. And oh, and also catch <gasps> reviewing that lightning podcast right here on this same channel where we review Black Lightning. But right now, we're talking about Black Panther. What y'all niggas talking about? Let's just jump into this. First and foremost, oh, I didn't plan on this being a spoiler podcast, but I'm just gonna say early spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Because we most likely gonna want to spoil this shit. So I'm just letting you know right now. If you listen to this right now and you haven't seen Black Panther, or unless you just a glutton for punishment, or you just like. You just don't give a fuck. Some people don't care. Yeah. Some people go see shit. They know everything that's going to happen. They still go see shit. So if you want them people, go ahead. Stay tuned. But if you are not one of them people, Spurla. Come back. Come back. Spurla. Come back. And you know what? I'll let you know if we wind up not spoiling it. But no, come back. Yeah. So in a minute, what's y'all what's y'all first reactions on this motherfucker? <sighs> okay. First of all, it's your boy D-Mac. And is it safe to say... <laughs> That this is one of the best Marvel movies in existence right now. I mean, it was it was safe to say that when they broke all those freaking records. <laughs> and as a Marvel, as a comic book film, I think it's like 97, 95 on Rotten Tomato. Mm -hmm. Like comic book films don't usually stay in the nineties. Yeah. On Rotten Tomatoes, dog. So that's unwelcome overwhelmingly high marks yeah. from critics who oftentimes be quick to try shit on comic movies at mm -hmm. times. So you know. And like there was there was so much. Like there's there was so many things about this movie that I fucking love. And it's like I don't want to spit it all out at one time. So I'm gonna just try to take this piece by piece. First of all, I love the soundtrack. Yes. The fucking music in this movie was 
incredible. I have to agree. And it was absolutely amazing. Yes, and I really appreciate how like they didn't like overly use like hip hop in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per se, you know what I'm saying? But the shit still like matched our fucking African Americanness, our blackness, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't on the nose at all. And it just really just lent itself to just everything that was going on with the movie. Like I really felt like those were African tribes like singing and chanting and I was just like, oh my god, like it just gave me fucking goosebumps, man. Like like that's one of the first things that I really like about the movie. Man, the first things I like about the movie is the uh is the shots and the coloring. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was beautiful. Yes, yeah, yes. visually stunning. Yeah, the coloring of it, man, and, and the angles that were used. Especially there's one angle where they did the rotating shot on Michael B. Jordan when they rotated the, the whole throne of how things were getting turned around. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, man, that was just a great shot. Stealing it. A lot of things in this movie, I was like, stealing it. We're stealing it. One of my most favorite visuals was the ancestral plane, dog. With that blue oh, and purple yeah. sky shit. That shit was so platinum, dog. Yeah, I was I like, to an African deity. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. Uh, I just learned about this one from La. Uh, I might say it's like, spit that. Shh. Skip me. Go. You keep going. I'm just saying, dog. Like, I just thought it was uh, African uh, deity uh, shit. It's like it's an African saying. deity goddess of the sky. But I don't know nothing about what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, but what? Before we get to the next one, I always want to see the fight scenes. Like in, in, in the, uh, oh, that, yes. was, like, that was tough. I wasn't even jumping to the next thing. I was saying on what he was saying. Uh, one thing that the creators did say was that they pulled from like every all kind of different African um, histories. I and, love it. And, and, and they, they, they did amalgamations of the tribes and the religions and the customs mm -hmm. and stuff. So we were really seeing, you know, oftentimes they try to act like Africa is like one one little country. No, in this case, they really tried to pull from like, all Yeah, they of just Africa. made it a big gumbo. And, um, just, it, it, it looked stunning. Chadwick Boseman said he, he picked a specific region in Africa, in Africa to flip his, uh, his dialect from. And... Um, Ryan Coogler also went to that, did that specific um, area mm -hmm. and, you know, did a lot of research and was taking a lot of customs, a lot of costumes, etc. So what, what, what you're saying about the ancestors on the plane, I mean, like, dude, it was like a gumbo of just our... Us, yeah, our us. It's like you get some, so. get some Kenya, get some Libya, you get some Liberia, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. some Nigeria. Yeah. They was trying to just really honor us. But what you're saying about the fight scenes and stuff? Oh man, the fight scenes, just, it was just epic, man. The, the shots they used for the fight scenes, back to the shots again, back to the colors. You yes. know what I'm saying? And the imagery, and 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 what those fight scenes even rep represent, the, the ritual of it. You know how everybody come around, how everybody got to roll with the rules. Who gonna challenge the Black Panther today? Which one of you niggas smell bold enough? <laughs> Black Panther. Who wants it? Who want, who wants smoke? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna take this nigga pause away, and we still say who wants it. Right. I like that part, and I love that part yeah, about this shit. Like, and to give and to give, and to give context to people that are listening. Uh, what they're talking about is like in the Black Panther lore, basically like one of the rituals is to get the, the to, to if you're the king already, if you're the Black Panther already, to keep your throne. A motherfucker from different tribes can't challenge you. And if that nigga beats you in hand to hand combat, he got your spot. Most times, it's someone within the same bloodline of the um, of the Black Panthers. Usually, like the like the grandfather might fight his little nephew or some shit. But it goes down. You got to keep your you got to retain your spot. So they put that also in the movie because if it's in the comics, of course they got to go it down gotta in, the be in the movie. movie yeah. And he referring to. Um, one scene when Michael B. Jordan's character, uh, Killmonger, uh, was going at T'Challa, Chadwick Chad Boseman character, and you know it was it was an epic fight scene. So just so niggas ain't like you know we we talking because we fresh off this shit, yeah, but you yeah, know what yeah. I mean. There might be somebody who decides to press shit. play and don't know the fuck we talking you about. Boy, right. you boy, context, you sure. boy Killmonger was like after he was done with his, he was like, man, fuck all that battle shit. We didn't done all that. <laughs> like, oh, you still alive? Now nah, fuck all that. So it was, it was it was great. Well, um, the the um my biggest standouts since we since we still on initial reactions before we get to character to character shit mm -hmm. um is just the metaphors, dog. I was saying yes. this earlier, dog. Just the metaphor of talking about. I often say on this podcast that Black Americans are the orphans of history, and they really dealt with that whole topic and that whole fight and that whole struggle. Mm -hmm. Straight dead on in this fucking film, son. It yeah. was it was amazing to see through Killmonger's eyes of every uh, of you might be Jordan character eyes of you know I'm a black American, but I know I got these African roots, but I have no way of accessing these right. African roots, even though I know it's my heritage. And that's what any black American could deal with. And what I'm not your people, you feel me? I'm not really African, or am I not really black, or whatever, whichever way you want to go. You dig? It's, it's, it was a great conversation to have on the main stage. And if you are in his position and you see a motherfucker like you know what I mean this. 
this continent full of people, continent, there's this country full of people that look like you that's so advanced and you feel like they cut me off. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I almost feel From like... all of this? It's, it almost feel like, you know what I mean, the people, it, you can feel that we're a black American because you're like, damn, dog, because my own people threw me off the, put me, help put me on them boats that sent me here mm -hmm. and shit. So it's just amazing that fucking clash of what's African American, what's African, right. what's, what's black African, American, what, what is, is our black? history, right. the connections of it. And it's just, it was a, it was so many metaphors go down, but that one, just off initial reactions, just that hit me the most throughout the theme of the through line of the movie. That definitely did, man. That definitely did. Uh, <laughs> what are the lines of some of the things like, you know, going in this thing, watching it with that kind of concept of being a black American, it's almost like, is Michael B. Jordan a villain or is he a victim? Mm. I think there was That's like a, good. I think like a part of that, like he was definitely a victim of circumstance. Who said you, know you got Who said they're mutually exclusive? Right, right, right. You, you could like, be a victim and a villain. Like two, was, all the most, time, most villains are victims. The, but the best, mm. the not the best villains at least are ones that actually have a point. The ones mm. that you can actually identify with. Those are the best. Magneto. You know mm. what I mean? Those are the best villains. We'd be like, man, nigga, you doing, you do, you going about this wrong, but I see why you're going about yes, this, though. Correct. You Absolutely. Feel what I mean? So I see where you're coming from, especially as the story developed. And, um, like, his character was just very, very interesting. I guess we're going to get, um, go character yeah. by character, and right now we're going to kill Monger. Which about I say, hey, oh, 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 I was talking about I ain't saying my, what my first initial thing was for me. It wasn't about white people. <laughs> <laughs> it was, that was so awesome. You know, we only spent like ten minutes in America. Exactly. The majority of that movie took place in Africa and Wakanda, mm -hmm. with a piece that took place in, in South Korea and a, a piece, even smaller piece, that took, took place, place in, in America. Yeah, that wasn't even America. That was we didn't London. even go to America. We go no, America. we went to America because that's in the flashback and in the end. When because that's okay, when yeah, yeah, kill yeah, my yeah. dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are little pieces. That's the very beginning. In the movie, even a yeah, flashback, oh, yeah, and it was very end of the movie. But we oh, went oh, to yeah. London a little, and that was Bruh. like a 10 minute scene. 10 minutes Bruh. in London, well, about 15 minutes in South Korea, and the rest, majority in Wakanda. When they went to uh, oh, when they went to America, though, for the black people in Oakland, that shit was like, oh, you brought all places, y'all put them in Oakland, and like, and where the Black Panther started at, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. That was poignant, dog. And you know, Kugler just, you know, that's, that's his. As of his, course, you know that's his, his stopping and, ground. So of course, of course, if you because it's like me, if I'm I don't care what I'm directing, if they say we gotta have at least one piece of this movie, gotta be in, in America. Well, New Orleans is a pretty good uh, place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just saying to shoot this little ten minutes that we gonna put in America. You know what I mean? Picture the boy, say Rob. Uh, <laughs> we gotta go handle these people over here. <laughs> um, I was in love also with um their depiction of women. Mm. That's what I was gonna say. So I, I love I love the, the women warriors. The Dormelage. The Dormelage. Yeah, the Dormelage. Jesus yeah. Christ. All beautiful, all brutal. You know what I'm saying? Like what what fucking more could you ask for? And for and for <laughs> and for moving for film purposes, dog. Uh, for, for my for the comic readers out there, um, the Dora Milaje. I'm I, I'm glad that they changed uh, a certain thing about them because in the comic books, um, the Dora Milaje are all like teenage girls, and oh. and um, different tribes. I mean, there's many different tribes, and the different tribes send their teenage yeah. girls to be a part of the Dora Milaje. And they are the trained motherfucking bodyguards and personnel of the Black Panther this just like that and things but they're all like a bunch of teenage girls and shit that shit's get, real cause in Africa they got them child soldiers they be giving them like machine guns and shit they be sending them out and... but they're there to hopefully for T'Challa for the king to pick one as a wife Huh. But the thing is, the king never does because they're always these little fucking. It's like a fucking ritual. It's like having rituals that you know this shit probably outdated, but it's a ritual, so we're gonna keep it around, but we're gonna just evolve it a bit. So it's like what happens is the king eventually decided to not wed none of them, and they just wind up just being warriors. I see all the time. But what's kind of fucked up is like usually they don't even get to find love and shit. So even in this movie, they let your girl. Hey, I'm. A, it's my job, but I still got a man. That was uh, mm -hmm. uh, the character. I got. I think her name Okoye. I think I was yeah. Right? Okoye. Okoye. Yeah, which I love that name. Yeah. It's such a pretty. She was the main door Malaysia, and they let them have that. And also, they weren't teenagers. I'm glad in the movie they made them grown ass women. Mm -hmm. Because one of the issues is in the comics, Lupita Nyong'o character, um, Naki, Naki, Nakia, Nakia, yeah, because. Uh -huh. I know how I say it when I read the comic books, but they say it differently with those accents in the movie. I was like, oh, that's how you say her I name. Uh, I care. In yeah. the comics, she likes 16 or some shit in love with motherfucking Black Panther and when he don't want to be with her because he, cause like he get taken over a spell one day and he kisses her, but he don't want to because once again in the comics, she lil to him. 
That's like yeah, the girl. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. shipped yeah. out that they went in the direction of having them have like a romance. Cause I was like, oh shit. But once again, I just swallowed that because well, they did make them grown women in this world, not mm. the kids. So that makes their robot their romance not as forbidden as it would have been in the comics. Cause the little chick in the comics go crazy and wind up turning evil and everything, mm. which I still hope they find a way to turn Lupita um, villainous over the course of a few movies if they can find a way because she is one of his main villains as some not main villains but a, a, a thorn in his side at times hmm. and when I saw that she was his love interest I just kept on thinking man this is not going to turn out good for Black Panther bro, if, they, if they do it if they do if they put the seed there that'll be very interesting but what y'all niggas saying and it just when we got to the Dora Milaje that's just one of the main well, things that stood out for me are we going to start with Dora Milaje as a character breakdown or we going to start as well well with the Dora Milaje um the main one was the general, which is Okoye, mm -hmm. and um, I, and um, I, I love the actress uh, Dana Gurira. She killed that shit. Yeah, oh, murder, she murder, ate it. flat, ate it, it alive. Mm -hmm. They called her the best warrior in Wakanda, and you believed it. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, without a doubt. Yes, she was the fucking leading motherfucker in charge. Yes, every, of the army. every scene she was in, she commanded the uh, the stage. Yes, she commanded the fucking camera. She and like never felt small like in any. Fucking and that scene. final scene, I was just thinking to myself, "Don't kill this lady." That thought Kill Michael was gonna kill. Her. I was like, "Don't kill this lady, bro." Do I was saying, lady. "Don't kill the baby sister." I knew you wouldn't kill her. I was for a split second. I was like, she was she was so likable and so lovable. I was like, man, they're gonna try to do her something. Please don't though. So I'm glad they did. Her loyalty okay. to the throne was just like wow, overly. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like that, like she was willing to, to take off. Like she, when she, she said it, she said my heart is with y'all. When when they, when they had to flee after Killmonger, basically spoiler alert, alert ascended. Let's put it like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like um, Lupita's character, Nakia, was trying to get Okoye to come with them and protect the queen, protect the little sister. And she like, my, like you said, okay, it was loyalty was to the throne above all else, above her husband, above her love, and that's some deep shit. But continue. I was just about to say, can we can we also talk about how fucking amazing Angela Bassett looks? We're not on Angela Bassett no, right we're now. not on her. We're oh, on her. God. We're on her. I was just saying, because you mentioned the queen, and I was like, oh, shit. Majestic. Right. I mean, there's so many yeah. there's so many major actors in this motherfucker. Yeah, that you no. forget. Jesus who's, Christ. Who's, who, sh everybody was killing. You feel me? Right. But, but Okoye, dog, like, like you said, uh, it looked like she was head general for a reason. She didn't take no shit from nobody. From and, no one. And nobody. I, I feel like in hand-to-hand -hand combat, without the power, she probably could kick Black Panther ass and at least give him a run I'm for money. I'm sure she could give him a run for like money. Like they said, they said she was the best warrior. They didn't say second. They didn't say under. They say she's the best warrior. Like, that's Period. what they said. That's what, that was their Period. words. So, as all, as actors, we always learn that the text gives you things that you need to know about characters. And all the the time, best warrior. You know what I'm saying? They called her the best. When, when, when another character says about your character is the truth. So, hey, I'm going with that. Now, here's, a, here's something that I just read me? earlier about Okoye, about how they didn't put her lesbian romance in this movie. I mean, they didn't need to. People feel like the, that's, 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 that's the L, Disney trying to not look out for the LGBTQ community again. I'm just saying, nigga, Beauty and the Beast at home. You can't say again, Disney really been doing really good by the LGBTQ community, honestly, lately. Yes, they, they, they took some yeah. fire for their last two uh, characters that was LGBTQ. I'm just saying, in the realm of this story, where do we put it? Oh, you mean because they made her have a man? Because she was with your boy? Because yeah. they gave her a man? Well, shit. I ain't even really tripping, honestly. I mean, LGBTQ might be, might and be tripping. And who knows the next movie, depending on this movie, spoiler... She's probably not going to be really fucking with him like that. They made so... True that, because, yeah, they might not even be together after this. But they made so many... Like, they made so many changes that it was like, damn, okay, well... My favorite moment... When she... When they were in South Korea, mm. going to the party. And, like, they were walking in the club. And she looked at one of the Asian dudes and just gave him that fucking side eye, like... Nigga, you know, like nigga, please. I was she, like, oh, she shit. was the woman of a million side eyes. I like uh. when she was talking in their language and when they was dealing in America. Yeah, 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 bro. And, and she was saying all this shit about me. This nigga touch you one more time, T'Challa. I will impale him. Him. <laughs> you hear him. I will impale him. And then, then Martin Freeman. The, the, the um, what's his? I keep going by his real name. What's his name on it? The white guy, Martin Freeman. What, who does he play? He plays uh, the CIA guy. Yeah, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. I know his fucking name. Man, white boy, man. I know this nigga's name. Uh, I just have to go back. 
back and count the like a fucking Jerry. mini epic side <laughs> that she gave in this fucking movie. I don't remember this nigga name, and I remember I just read the run where he was fucking introduced, but he, it's gonna come back to me. But anyway, but I love that scene when she was, when she go, oh, does she talk? Does she speak? Does, does she, she speak? speak? Yeah, English? yeah, yeah. When yeah. she, she wants to, when she wants to. Oh, that was great Watch writing. Yourself, great, bitch. great fucking writing. Um, next, next person we'll get into. Let's get into Ulysses Claw. I thought White Boy was gonna last longer. I thought yeah. he was. I thought he was gonna I, last. I would. I, I, I'm just gonna put it out there. I was super happy when he died. Yeah, I was. I thought it was a setup. Overly happy when he died. I was surprised because he, in Lord, he's one of Black Panther's main, if not number one, villain. Right. Uh-huh. Like the main top two villains of Black Panther are Killmonger mm-hmm. and Ulysses Claw. Okay. Like you know what I'm saying. So and in the comics, they couldn't do it because they switched it up for Civil War. I said they switched so many things. Claw killed his daddy. So that's usually there. They got this blood fucking feud going on with them two because in the comics, Claw the one who killed T'Chaka. So I was like, so when they had Killmonger just straight murder him, like, that was like the, mess- the message you had, like, nigga, it's not for y'all white people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Token white boy got killed. <laughs> exactly what happened. Like, I was, I was just, I was a little hurt by that. I really thought it was a setup when he killed him. I thought I was like, oh, this is a setup. He act like he's dead, but really not. And then them two going to work together and try to get the vibranium. Nah, huh. nah, fuck all that, dog. No nah, white folks allowed. Him. Nope. Killmonger. And, I'm, and you know what? In hindsight, I'm happy for it because it made Killmonger the pop more powerful for it. Yeah, because yeah. I wasn't liking looking at it at first like this nigga's man henchman. No, I don't be this man henchman. Right. It seemed like he was a side character almost. Yeah, at like, first, when at, we first he was, was. Yeah, at he first. was at first, and then they flipped everything on everybody. Well, pause. Yeah. No, how about this? He never was. He flipped everything yeah. on uh, all yeah, of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Because he was the man with the plan. Yeah, yeah. he offered his old lady like it was. It was nothing. a plot. That one is old lady. Everything was a plot. But we're gonna it get the kill mind because he was one of the most complex and best characters in there. Oh, yeah, yes. at, but back to Claw, like I said, I was surprised when he died. I like the way that um, that he was played. Uh, yeah, he was he was really well well done. Because he, he he was a villain that had, had joy. Like uh, he was kind of crazy, but he was yeah. having fun. Like I some mean, villains try. You know what I'm saying? How was you supposed to be in your mind? Like, bro, you didn't oh, see man. Wakanda for real. You the only white man Still. that seen Wakanda <laughs> and got out of that. <laughs> 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 I be crazy all day too. <laughs> yeah. I like I, I like away it. from him. <laughs> I, I, I like that that they played it that way with him because some 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 villains try too hard to be evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They try hard to be hard, mm-hmm. and he just was having fun. He's cracking his jokes. He's like, "Ha, what the fuck?" You know what I mean? And yeah. he, but he still could switch it on a dime, and you'd be like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna right. somebody." I'm gonna fuck He's with. like still the fucking villain. And now. that claw, and they had established that hand of his mm-hmm. that was cut off in uh, Age of Ultron, and then he got it engineered. It was just. I, I thought love, that I was a very him. cool weapon that he had. So I was like, damn, he blasting niggas with yes. this shit. Okay. Son, this yeah, man was fuck. racist to the end of his days. That boy's like, they're savages. Yeah. They got yeah. all the in the world. They're still savage. They're yeah. savages. They're still niggas. No matter niggas what I see. Niggas fucking vibranium. No matter what I see, they savages. I saw them have the most technological advances of all time. And I still think they're savages. Still think they're savages. That's yeah. how sick the, like, that shit no, is. No, he was like, because uh, when he said it, all I could hear white people across the board saying, well, I bet if white people had this technology, all the shit we could do with it. Mm-hmm. We see what white people do with technology, but anyway, um, what I about to say, uh, and I love that scene with him and uh, Martin Freeman's character. Damn, I'm mad at him. Oh, damn, the comic nigga, let me just lose him right now. But I like that interrogation scene when he start out and what Wakanda really was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was really like trying to make him under. He took his time, like no. You really don't know, right? They got real <laughs> shit <laughs> like, over there, El mm-hmm. Dorado. Yeah. No, <laughs> he's like, he's like no, 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 uh, yeah, y'all, you need to go see this place y'all for yourself. All these riches, y'all, yeah. all these technological advances, y'all, <laughs> all this shit, but it wound up being in Africa, where yeah, part of Africa too. You dig, and it was stupid motherfucking white folks. This is what you probably was saying, like you stupid white <laughs> folks been looking into place all the wrong time. It's All the way treasure. to America looking for spices. The good spices have been in Wakanda the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the main things about it was the story of we've been hiding this entire time because we don't want y'all people. We see what y'all do all over the world when y'all get technology. You know what, Wakanda, yes. we gonna keep all our advances. Because Wakanda's a character in itself, all of the freaking, the shit that they had with just every time I looked around, it looked like, what the fuck? What is this? What is this? Right. What is this? And that's how Wakanda's supposed to be. If they're supposed to be advanced over everybody, they need to have alien seeming technology over the world. And I'm glad they established that, and it was coming from what? Black people. Blackness. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it was, it was, it was great. It was great. So I'm moving from Claw, man. Let's get to. Let me go to David Kaluuya character. We could go to his minor ass. Uh, I ain't like him. 
<laughs> I, but he, I mean, he played his character well. Like, it's not like he was a bad actor. Every, all the acting was magnifique, no. But I'm just saying, he just got under my skin. Because I saw it from the dump. I was like, fuck. He gonna be the bitch. Yep. I forgot his name, too. But David Kaluuya character. Yeah. A old man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Koi's yeah. old man. You knew right from the jump he was gonna, you know, be the turncoat. Yeah. But you even saw where he was coming from. I still yeah. think he, he like, played, played this shit really fucking well, though, you know. I still liked his character, you know, but he was just kind of a bitch, you know. Man, he was like, look, bro, your daddy let this nigga slide. Now you telling me you about to let this nigga slide. He didn't slip through your arms, but you brought this other white man. So, like, but damn, I, I've been Black Panther for like a day. <laughs> I've been king for like a day. day. You ain't going to give me a little bit more time to get this nigga? Man, that's how about that, T'Challa? Get Claw, bitch. ASAP. Get Bring Claw him back. now. Either kill that nigga on kid. sight or bring him back here. That's your only options. Don't come to Wakanda without this nigga. But he was a nigga that the vows for Kill Killmonger, and it's just you know. But it was yeah. interesting that like once I say with these, all these different tribes, and he was the main nigga over his his blue tribe <laughs> or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And if you if you commanded commanded, niggas was riding, niggas was rolling, as yeah. we saw towards the end of the movie oh, when he yeah. really aligned himself with Killmonger, and he was riding, and he hid it behind riding with the throne when really it was like nah nigga you want to be one of these niggas that's riding yeah. on niggas yeah. and you finally got a king and killmonger at that point that <laughs> that was about that ride because he even said we about that military we about this shit nigga yeah. we, need go, we need to go take we need to go take these niggas but i don't know i ain't like him he got into my skin son <laughs> he did he did he did his job yeah i don't know if y'all got more else to say on i don't have nothing else to say on nah the coloring they did for him were very beautiful which all the costumes and the yeah the costumes were really colors super. like you need to just think uh, about what you said his character's name was wakabi wakabi wakabi's got it uh ross that's uh mark freeman's character the white boy i totally missed that he was ross. just, he was just everett, a white boy to me everett ross but uh like yeah wakabi was that character so moving from wakabi let's get to angela bassett Ramonda. Oh, she like Storm's mama. Oh, because she should have been Storm. Just looking like straight fucking she royalty, son. I mean, it's beautiful. With those In fucking every white dreads? single scene. Man. Pure white dreads. I was going to say, like, girl, you look ancestral. God. Man. Yes, yes, queen. Yes, mother. Yes. I was yes. there for it. I was there yes. for that whole setup. Yes. It is your time. And she was his mom. She played that role. She Man, that shit. The, yeah. my favorite part was when she, like, a uh, spoiler, when she, uh, when uh, uh, T'Challa was fighting, the, the, doing his first challenge, and she was like, show him who you, you are. are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. was like yes, ma'am. I'm going to kick in the ass. I'm about to beat him up my mama watching. When Angela Bassett tell you do something, you fucking do it. The other line was, did you know if you come home, I'm going to whip you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you lose this, I'm gonna whip your ass. I'm gonna whip your ass when you get back. Yeah, like, exactly. Don't fuck this up. Okay, remember, this is a black movie. Right? Right. Right. In a black Nigga. community, if your mama watch you fight, bitch, you, you better, better win. win. You better win. win. If you lose, you, you, you gonna get two losses. Better losses today. win, Lord. nigga. Lord have mercy. And, I, and win. I felt for her so much when he lost that fight to yeah. kill my man. Oh, yeah. she screamed. Oh my that god, screamed, no, like, like it's, it's like every once again, it was one of those moments of she. Every actor did this, no matter how big or small your role was. If you had a moment, these motherfuckers made the most of their moments. Yes, yeah. they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. She had screen time, but she didn't have like not a like most, a lot, not a lot. But, but her it, presence it mattered. There was, there was power in every single fucking yes, stitch indeed. of that fucking shit. Though. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You feel me? In the comic, she ain't even his real mom. And that's that's a beautiful thing about their relationship. Well, uh, She's like, well, I don't know. They, they made this shit simple. That's his mom. But in the comics, uh, that's the child. That's the child because I believe that's his second wife. Or whatever. Uh, okay. I think his real mom died or some shit. But because they set this up in the character in the comics for a second, of you wonder if she evil and really her and him were like this, like like mm. close as hell. They set up a plot on somebody to uh, it's it's cool shit. So and and to me that's such a that's such a like endearing relationship for you and your what's that just your stepmom. To be that fucking tight, but you know, I don't understand necessarily why they made her stepmom in the comics when it's just easy to just make it his mama, as your mama. Yeah. But uh, yeah. like, yeah, son, it was it was great. It was great. I loved everyone's chemistry. You believe that all of them was a family? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, though. It, Absolutely. It, it wasn't actory. No, like, at no, all. no, at no. All, no. At all, that was his mom. Super. <laughs> that was his mom. That was his little sister. That was his lover. That was his uh uh the the, the general. That was all of you know. All of those people were related to each other in mm -hmm. some type of real way. That was amazing. Forrest Whitaker character. 
Uh, you would oh, almost Gary forget Oldham. that Zuri was that Forrest Whitaker was ever even in this movie with so he, many hitters. I thought he played it really well. Oh, he did his thing. Oh, really, really. But I'm talking well. about thinking about the marketing of the movie. Like they have so many hitters. It was like, oh yeah, Forrest Whitaker in this Your bitch. In too, oh yeah, uh -huh. Angela Bass in this bitch. Oh shit, Sterling K. Brown. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. there's so many freaking hitters. Like when I saw Forrest, I was like, oh yeah, come on, act, come on, oh, come on, act. come on, come here. I want to throw out there that they found a, a young boy that could play young Forrest Whitaker with a lazy eye. Stop it. Wow. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something like that. That boy looked familiar. What else was he on? Like, yeah, he was on something else. Something I else. couldn't put my finger on it. I kept looking it. at the, like, the young was Forrest something. Whitaker, young Zuri yeah, character. I forget, but I know for a fact he was on something that we have all seen yeah. and, he, and he did really well. I just it And just I love that twist of the spies. Oh, and whoever was cast as young T'Chaka. Oh, yeah, that was Fire. Because he looked yeah. just like Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. 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 That yeah. boy, that man, them two, is that your real daddy or is that right. the next nigga you gonna play in a movie? That was some good ass Because since you are every show. black person, Chadwick Boseman, according right. to Hollywood. Yeah, really. But I'm um, like, yeah, son. Um, Zuri, he, 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 he fulfilled his role as, mm -hmm. you know, the black nigga that need to die. Yeah. There's always some old black, or some old nigga that need oh, to die. The old gatekeeping. You're right. The, yeah. the, the hero. Spiritualist, the fucking soul healer. And he really thought that he was gonna save him. Kill me. All right, I kill both of y'all. Fuck All right, you know. <laughs> two, two for one. All right. You actually killed my daddy, what and he got the throne. I'll oblige you. What made you think he wasn't going to kill both of y'all? Nigga said, I walked that head. Claws in my daddy's chest. Son, and it was a deeper thing of this. Uh, once again, he falls into kill mob. He can't escape his ass, dog. He was killing his family members like they weren't shit. Yeah. Nah. Because to him, they weren't shit. Yeah. And you could be doing that every day with a hot dog. That's so crazy. But anyway, get into uh, the next character I want to get into. Uh, do we want to get... We're going to get to that when we get to Kill Bob. I was about to say Sterling K. Brown's character, but that's more than Kill Michael Ramsey. That's Ramsey that was his dad. Uh, uh, Ross. All right, the other token. I, I mean, I was laughing at the fact that, you know, both of these token white boys came from the, uh, the Lord of the Rings universe. The other, Everett Ross. Martin Freeman did his position. He was the sidekick. Yeah, he was a great sidekick. <laughs> he was the, the clutch. The white boy sidekick. This is how. This is the inverse. I All these white people it. were talking about how Black Panther's so racist. There's only two white people. Well, guess what? What are them white people help say today? That's how it goes in y'all movies for us, and it's usually an Asian. And <laughs> I will say his role was not like minimal at all. Mm -mm, well, like he had a good fucking role. Like he played a very important fucking part in the fucking movie. He's a friend of fucking Black you know Panther now. That's one of Black Friend Bad to Panther Springs he could trust from the US. And he's the second white man to make it out of Wakanda alive. Hmm. I mean, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, pretty legendary. But they let him have a nice little arc. They let him have a nice, yeah, little arc or whatever. He was the one that saved them from having right, those, like he got the weapons, the weapons from leaving to, Wakanda like, because yeah. um, Killmonger's big plan was, you know, basically to liberate uh, all black people by giving them Wakandan weapons to kill the white man, and that was just so deep. So uh, he saved, you know, he saved that day. But hey, man, that boy, white boys, whatever. Like everybody else in the movie, <laughs> yes, he did his I mean, thing. Yeah, he, he did his thing. His thing is, yeah. If I if I if I just watch it with uh like 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 clear uh un unjaded blinders or whatever I look at it like yes you played an important part but if I go into the writer side of it y'all just gave that white boy something now, to do as you I'm ever watch some shit and you just be like oh they just gave that person something to do whether and it's usually like a woman or a black character or an Asian character while the real hero of the story the white man da -da 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 gets to do yeah, all the heavy yeah. lifting mm -hmm. you hear I me mean? that's what it felt mm -hmm. like but this time the white man you go you go get this random ship out here while. All these black women and these black men you know, <laughs> saved the uh, day. On the ground. You know what I wish though? I wish that it could have been a black <coughs> American character that tried to get him to, you know, talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Get what? Like I like to play uh, your boy's character, the, the white man's character. I feel as a black American with a different kind of mindset. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. I think our black American was Killmonger. Like I don't think we need yeah, any yeah, other black definitely. American. He yeah, like that was our one like nigga. He, I mean, not even just a nigga. He just represent. I think another yeah. black American would have saturated the power of everything yeah, he was the saying. Yeah, black American story. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, yeah, yeah. he would have been our good one, and then uh, Michael B would have been our bad one. When Killmonger had to be our good and our bad one, it made you feel all kind of ways mm -hmm. about agreeing with him at times. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. the best villains cool. you agree with. We just, you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, moving from, who did we just talk about? We just talked about uh, Ross. 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 But once again, Martin Freeman did your thing. In the comic books, um, he's a, um, that character, Ross, um, he's assigned to Black Panther as his, his American liaison. And many often times, like you said, like, he's the one, he's the liaison. Like, sometimes he got to tell America, look, y'all, let this nigga do what he's doing. Look, trust me. He good niggas. Oh, he good people. You know what I'm saying? He good yeah. We got good Negroes over here. <laughs> Some good Negroes, all right? 
<laughs> you don't you want us to me? kill us over here. <laughs> and like they and they built this character, the um writer Christopher P Priest, I believe, um introduced that character. But I'm um, like, yeah, and he 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 becomes a, once again, like you said, a friend. And they really did his character justice the way they do in the comics. Next character up, I want to get into Sister Girl, man. His sister, love it. I love the sister character. Oh, I was so she scared. Was so lovable. Shuri. Shuri. She was so lovable. She's so yeah. lovable. Love, too. lovable. Lovable. Like, oh, with her jokes, her wittiness. With and she's known as the smartest person in Marvel. Had mm. all their weapons popping. Black girl. Smartest person in the Marvel Universe. So, so you know. she, Go ahead, Shuri. You know what's funny? It seemed like she could have been like 17 or 18. You know what I'm saying? Like she could have been young. Like she seemed like she was very young, but super witty. It, it, and then she was so funny, you know, like that yeah, scene where she was funny. like, uh, "What are those?" He's like, right, the what are those? That was hilarious. The chemistry between her and her brother, brother sister, was yeah. so yeah. real, dog. Like, I know they familiar. fucking like hung out Offset, like had to, like y'all gotta be cool. That whole cast been hanging out Offset. Well, right? I mean, you know, naturally, right but now. no, 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 no. You're saying natural, but no, really, not all cats do that, like. You should do that with your cast. That's what I think. But, dude, like, there, there, there's some cast that you will watch and you can find buku pictures of them all chilling, having fun. And there's some cast you can't find three of them chilling. Yeah, come mm. there, go on set, do their job, and go and home. go home. They, yeah. they, like, it depends. So I can imagine that. that. that that's a, but the thing is, you can tell the difference between a, a, a cast that hangs and a cast that swings. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I love their character. And it was a nice little nod to the fact that at a point in comics, she becomes Black Panther. So when she raised her hand that time mm. during the uh, Who Else Wants the Challenge. That's kind of like a little nod. A little nod. The, so she, uh, could, she don't get it by beating him. I believe like some some, he, he had, to do some something, he had to do something where he has to go all the way for a while. She takes her as Black Panther because he comes back. Mm, he comes back eventually. She even dies at some point. Oh, and and no. comes back to life. Oh, okay. some spiritual realm and shit like this. Oh. She got a very fire character. And I'm curious to see... The development of her and like this whole whole thing just a total side note because you're the one that reads the comics well i mean y'all y'all really seeing this movie makes me want to like go and read the black panther comic if you don't read nothing else read some black panther like i will fucking like sit there and like binge read that one like it just sounds so interesting like as far as the comic book uh lore yeah, yeah. My nigga, and Tanahashi coast just had a run on there for a couple of months now Okay. So it's trippy. Like, they, they got some good shit going on Black Panther. Yeah. My nigga, she came out there with them sonic blasters. Mm -hmm. Blasting Bus shit. Bus guns. I boom, love boom, boom. And she makes all the technology. Yeah. All of it. So Everything. She knows how it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's also representative of, you know how they always be hating on the millennials when really it's the future that always pushes pushes to the next level and push, yeah, yeah, pushes, yeah. you know, generations forward. You want your kids to be smarter than you, right? Yeah. So it's right. just a beautiful thing that, like, this young ass, you know, she's probably what, 20, probably 21. At yeah, you can say that. Let's say 21. This 21 year old girl out here, you know what I mean, is the most, the va most vast mind. Black girl. You hear me? She looking at, I love when she called your boy a colonizer. You colonizer? Yeah, like that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a brand of mine. You colonizer? I'm calling every white person I can't stand a colonizer. Y'all are colonizers now, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> That's was like calling you a crackhead. You can't tell me that. You fucking colonizer. Super proper. And from her point of view, of course, dude, she was born and raised in Wakanda. So all she know about white people is when she's read about white people. Mm -hmm. And like, nigga, all and say if you want to get the truth about America, read a foreign newspaper. So it's like all she knows is the with the what everybody else say about white people. So she looking at y'all like man, and it seemed like they're so advanced, and since they've never been colonized themselves, they don't even hate white people. They just pity them. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like oh, look how you guys gotta be. Oh, look at this primitive bullshit. Like you know what I mean? Like who is this? Y'all real Neanderthals, huh? Like that right. one, like that one so scene primitive. when it was in the car, and you know their cars is like you know, the best of the best, and these niggas let loose bullets, and mm -hmm. uh, Nakia and uh, Okoye are sitting in the car like shaking their heads. Why are they wasting bullets? Primitive. So primitive. Primitive. So primitive. Oh, and that beautiful freaking um setup that um that ghost car that 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 freaking car that um. That Ooh, technology uh -huh. that, that that um she had a Shuri had where she can drive the car where she was in Wakanda. That was dope. that the, the car is in fucking South Korea while they having this amazing chase. Like what the fuck? How? Like like every piece of technology that, just how? made me go Afrofuturism on fleek. All you, gotta fleek. Do, all you gotta do is put that Wakanda GPS on there. Boom boom, we locked in. I'm a Bluetooth you in. All right, let's go. Well, the women were heroes, dog. Like when the yeah. king Okoye was chasing down Claw and your boy uh, Black Panther was knocked out and it was like, should we wait for him? And she's like, you catch up. Let's go. Let's go get this nigga. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'll catch up. Oh, she know that. <laughs> She'll be here. Dog, it was bowed at this shit, dog. So like, yeah, sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in very... And I'm very curious to see where she go, where she comes through as a fighter because we didn't really get to see her fight much. And I'm so glad mm. they didn't kill her because like you said, bro, she... 
she 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 came close there. She came very close there. Yeah. But she was down for a brother. The chemistry is amazing. Let's move into Nakia's character, who's played by Lupita. I Oscar winner Lupita. We all go. We got Oscar winners and shit in this bit. Bruh, first no, of no all, one. I, I, well, I about to go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say that she just looks so just Ravishing. deliciously dark chocolatey mm, in this movie. Mm, mm, I mean, that hair and that booty. Oh God, why Lupita? <laughs> Just, that was kind of ass. Breaking all the senses. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get that part out the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Character wise, I mean. And it's great to not see her be a slave. Yes. yes. Yeah, for sure. Because I think, because I've been, because the last movie, like I saw, what else have I, I've only watched her in 12 Years a Slave. I didn't get to catch that Disney joint, uh, Queen of Catway. I didn't see that either. Um, she, I know, I saw her, she, I knew she was the voice of one of those characters in a Star Wars movie, but that, you know, you didn't get to see her. You know what I mean? She's also the voice in Jungle Book, where she killed Jungle Book, but she's the voice of a wolf. So it was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the only live action last thing I've seen of her was her being a slave. So to see her being a warrior, my nigga. Bruh. Spy. Like kicking a ass. A spy. Like such a new that character doesn't wanna to be, uh, That doesn't want to be married, basically. Well, she, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to like, Live with the fact that she's living in good ass Wakanda and the rest of the world suffering. And that was a great thing that she brought mm. to the table. She was like, she saw just how, like she did, she she saw just how Killmonger saw it without being violent about it. Basically saying like, look, we have all these, and she's the spy that's one of the spies in America. So she's or all over. She leaves yeah. Wakanda often, so she's well traveled. So it was like talking to somebody that's gotten to see things. I have, I don't, I'm not. You you come to America to be a dignitary to handle business. I be having to come chill and see people suffering and see people needing our shit. You feel me? We're, we're selfish of us. And that was just, that made her a hero on his own. Yeah. Let alone when we first get introduced to her, he went to save her, but she didn't really need saving. Nope. No, no, no. She, she was, was on a mission. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was, she was on a mission. Son, he didn't, he didn't go to save her, son. He went to go get her help. He said out his mouth, we're going to save her. And you feel me? That's what he was going to do. And then when that's she what said, he thought he was doing. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Then she was like, "You <laughs> fucking up my mission." And that's when like, he told her, "Like, yeah, uh, well, my father died. Wait, oh, I need, I need you right. to see it's me. Real. I need you to see me." But on some real nigga shit, maybe like I, I get you saying to level up. That was man. like an excuse, right? That's an excuse. <laughs> I gotta see her, man. Because like, he wants to see her. He like every time he see, her, he apparently freezes up. Nah, so, I never don't freeze. freeze. Don't so, freeze. I love that line. I never, freeze. I never freeze. Boy, so, uh, 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 that's all, folks. So, yeah, I think it's an excuse, dog. Look, y'all, we about to go save her. I'll give it to you. I'll give you that. Look, baby, I need you to come home. My father died. And they had great chemistry. I'm going through something. Yeah. <laughs> I, about, I, New York and Bozeman had great chemistry. Absolutely. And I, and, I, and, it was, and I love that it was um his ex. So, they already have this history that we don't even know of At set. All. So, you already... In the midst of their tension, you feel yeah. me? You're like, oh, okay, y'all exes. Even if, even Okoye was like, you want to do a mission with your ex? Right, right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so many good ass lines in this movie, bro. Because like, it's funny enough, even though they were kind of there, a lot of Americanized things that you know, you know, got to. Maybe, it's, and I think what they were trying to show us was these aren't American; they yeah. black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Really? Some black. I, th I, I think that was the point of it was to show, look, this black, black is black universal. is black. Yeah. We go to Africa, they still crack probably the same time the jokes we crack. We just don't know it. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't over there. You feel me? We just look at it as from from an American lens, but like you said, that come out, that that notion of familial and the familiarity of the familial mm -hmm. was present for black people. <laughs> for us being man, black, you don't, to, you don't go ride with your ex, man. You know that oh, last time, man. Not man. like when they dapped up, man. When he when um him uh, uh, T'Challa and Shuri dapped up, they had a little dab, like ah, ah, they had the little. And then they cross their they cross their hands with the X with the arms and that's like I said we need to just greet black people like that from now on yes. my brothers from now on X uh. man uh, Wakanda man. it was uh, so up, natural mm. like it was just so clean and just easy it just came off just nice and proper though dude bro and um once again get back to the kid character Lupita Nyong'o she was just she was the she was the hero of the story in many ways you know what I'm saying because she said that nigga a few times she a few saved times. Mm -hmm. like. If she didn't go try to find and save the fuck, uh, overthrow Killmonger herself, yeah. they would have never have found T'Challa. Yeah. Like, because even the motherfuckers in the mountains, um, and that character um, um, played by Winston Duke, um, in, the in the comics, his name is Man Ape. And that was the first guy that challenged T'Challa for the throne or whatever. Buku. 
in Mumbuku, that's his real name. Mumbuku. But like what they call, they call him Man Ape, and he's like, you know what I mean? He like in the comics, he have his own tribe. That and was he, a fire character too. Yeah, he was. And I like how they twist him because he'd be like, fuck, he a villain. Like in the comics, mm-hmm. he's a villain. Yeah. So when I saw him challenge him, I was like, oh, look at Man Ape and this bitch, I was, you know, sleep, slipping him in, but he wound up having a, 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 a heroic arc. Like mm-hmm. I like what they did with Mumbuku, but and he was like funny. Yes, dog. Yeah. He had a nice character, dog. Like I was like, man, I better get some more of this guy. Some more Mumbuku like, had this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to see him. Again. Yes, yeah. no, like I that. Not mind too. seeing yeah. him again. That sure. great moment when you have the hero's quest when everybody's like, you know, we got T'Challa coming back from the dead. Once again, y'all better have already seen this movie. T'Challa came back from the dead and shit. And like everybody's like, um, like his sister's like, I got you, brother. Go get the kingdom back. His, his his girl, like, I'm with you, I love you. Get the kingdom back. I mean, Angela Bass is like, my son, get the kingdom back. Then then Mubuku just jumping out. Oh shit. Oh yeah, you're done. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> I'm right here. How's it? Yes, man. Keep you all in real. my kingdom with this shit. Come the fuck on. And the, you know, I respected his character a lot because um, there's a poem where he reveals that apparently Wakanda has forgot about him, and even mm-hmm. though he's a part of Wakanda, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He's and that was another cold. great allegory. You feel me? It was like my because he said he's like no king has come here in decades. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't give a fuck about Whoa, us mountain he people. Said centuries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even worse. Centuries. Even worse. No, no king has been. No king has a year. visited them in the freaking mountains. So they feel like the peons. They feel like the niggers of their fucking black civilization. Yeah. Right. We the yeah. man apes. They treat us like we ain't shit. Like we don't know shit. We just some cold ass niggers living. Real. We vegetarians, bitch. We don't <laughs> eat out here. We can help our like, niggers out. Uh, yeah, I'm glad he. I'm, I love his character. I love, like you said, he was a great character. It was great what they did. Like everybody played a per. per a purpose, a part. Um, but back to Nakia, once again, the, the real hero of the story, she saved the fucking day in so many goddamn ways. And it was cool how they had her once again put on the Dora Milaje outfit in the end of the movie. And she's like, I'm not a Dora though. And because in the comments, like I said, she is a motherfucking Dora. And that's why I was kind of tripped out. Like, oh, she's not a Dora in this movie. Yeah. Anymore. You feel me? She said Anymore. she was one? That's yeah, what it was? she was one. They said okay. a few times. They, was, they even asked her why she don't even come back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what she was when she was there. They was like, well, you know, why don't you come back? She was a Domelage. See, I thought when they said, why don't you come back? I thought they just wanted her to come back. Like, nah, come back, nah. to, come home. Nah, <laughs> we, she, we miss you. <laughs> she was, she so was, was like, top assassins too. So. Yeah, so you need your ass kicking abilities. You feel me? I, and I like the fact that niggas respected her to the point where even Black Panther mama said when Black Panther was out the picture, look, dog. You go fight this nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Go go take, mm. take this purple heart and go kick some ass, girl. Yeah. Girl, go be Black, Black Panther. Mm. You know what I mean? Go do this here. And she was she, she was like, just like black women do for us. You feel me? She did not stop. She was pushing forward. She was like, nah, nigga, I'm going to save the world. And she did. Mm. <laughs> well, she, she, uh, dog, she didn't grab that flower because your boy Killmonger burnt that shit. Oh, we going to get to that so in the Killmonger section. When we, get, we almost to Killmonger section. We almost, we almost to the top two. Um... Uh, I, think, I think we are at Killmonger now. I can't no, think no, of anybody no. who else is important enough to even mention. One thing I do like is they have the freaking the um the circle of elders that they talk to, and they have all these different the traditions. Council. The council, they have the council you talk to, and they, all the council have the different say, and they had the one people with the uh the this, thing in their yeah. lips, the discs in their lips, the show. The visuals of that was just fucking. Astounding. And I love that they showed them with the discs and they lip with yes. the big lip. But no, no, not just that they showed it, but they were swaggy. Oh, yo, yeah, fresh. You feel yeah. me? It was like, yeah, well, that dude was in a green suit. Yeah, suit and a Buddhist. Yeah, Buddhist because huh? usually when you see them, they, they try to present them as the savages. And they got the they got the thing in their lips, but they usually have loincloths. Like, no, nah, nigga. nigga, this is fucking expensive. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, this just cost 200 grand. Nigga, right. I sold this myself, nigga, from a goat in a rhino. And vibranium, nigga. Vibranium. Right. You dig? So that Love was, it. Just Boy, the rhinos right. have vibranium on them. On their horns and shit. And that was part of the situation. That was great. Cra- I mean, that was crazy. This motherfucker, dead Daniel Kalua character, his tribe ride rhinos. They ride rhinos. Big rhinos. It got to a point, and we got to see Black Panther take a fucking giant rhino down. Right. That was a crazy <laughs> image. That was yeah. Just, that what the like fuck? Some real warrior shit. So Nigga, he like took down that. the rhino. We're going to get to that. We'll get to T'Challa. Anyway, I think we're Killmonger, dog. Which, 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 so we'll uh, start with Sterling K. Brown first, then. Well, like, okay, so at the top of the movie, um, we, we see this this showdown between Sterling K. Brown, who plays um, Killmonger's father, Eric, Eric, Eric Stevens is what they call him in the um, in the movie or whatever. And, He's also um, T'Chaka's brother. And we find out later that uh, Sterling K. Brown was T'Chaka's uh, brother that made, because in the comics, Killmonger and T'Challa aren't related. It just, he, he has his own tribe, and he just like how man it was. Nigga, I'm trying to take this shit. And Killmonger just that nigga. And also in the comics... Well... In the comics, uh, Killmonger, uh, his dad has a helping with Claw, and they get banned. They get banned because they deal with weapons. But what I'm saying is, they're not related. 
And, no, no, they're not. Yeah, right. and that and Killmonger in the comics, um, like he he he, he basically I was saying he's just like he's magmatic in the way, whereas he wants the throne. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And he feel like he's entitled to the throne because he's just as smart. And and in the comics, the funny thing about Killmonger too is he was sent to America to learn. So he he was Americanized. He was mm -hmm. sent to America for for school, for high school, and that's why at points his character often feels like sometimes they fuck with him in the comments about like you're not a real Wakanda nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because you know they got the best schools and shit Wakanda nigga, mm -hmm. but his people were well, like he said was exiled because some fuck shit his daddy did do. Why well, so, he was a kid? He got exiled as a kid. So, but he's still like my blood is here, and I, man, I deserve this shit. I can kick some fucking ass. And also in the comments, he did best T'Challa by throwing him off a fucking waterfall. That, that happened thing. in the movie and it happened in the comic. Okay. That's I'm, I'm sitting there watching when they having that fight. I was like, oh shit, this they gonna do the Killmonger about to beat him. I just I turned I turned to Jay Still like Killmonger about to beat him. Uh. She like she like what you mean? I was like just watch because that's his big thing that he did best this man in combat. But it was like what was said like but nigga like he didn't die or yield. You let yeah. this man you yeah didn't, you didn't finish the job even though you whooped his ass yeah you, you did. Didn't, and and another thing that's trippy in comics he's much bigger. In the comics, uh, it's like some Venom uh, Spider Man shit. Uh, that nigga, uh, that nigga is tall wow. as fuck in the wow. comics. So when you see T'Challa fighting him, you be like, Yeah, like, I see oh, why you shit. had some fucking trouble fighting this big, interesting. big beautiful ass nigga. Like he big and majestic. Dread locks and everything. Yeah, long in dreads. Comics, that boy, uh, big ass, that that boy is majestic, you know. <laughs> he's a, like a unicorn. He's a stallion. So he like he can be Black Panther. He took over Wakanda. I was like, Wakanda, y'all straight. So he got you, bro. And I love that they went that story. And at times he can be right. You know what I mean? So by the way, Michael. B. Jordan got swole for as a motherfucker with that role. But he, he was already swole from yeah, Creed. Yeah, he was like, swole from Creed. He was more cut. This he, was like more, he, he was more cut. I noticed yeah, that. He got a little bit buff. But, but if he didn't do Creed, Creed already had a much. It's not like us trying to be killed manga next week. You know right. what I mean? Like, right, nigga, we'd be just killed. <laughs> right, nigga. I would, I would need I'm a good half a year to get close to that. Sure. Year, man. Sure. <laughs> so a close and a trainer and some money and some food. Right. But like, yeah, son. Um, so like his we start the movie off with like we said, to chop happen to kill his brother by saving Forrest Whitaker's character Zuri when they were young because Zuri was a spy for T'Chaka and um, for T'Chaka to um, watch Killmonger's dad and Kill Killmonger didn't know that and that was such an amazing little flip to show just how intelligent we are. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That was just a beautiful flip and um, it was an honorable thing and it was, a, it, was a, it was a tough thing. You killed your brother to save someone that was loyal to you. And I thought that was very poignant because it's like, damn, you could look at it like he just killed his brother but it's like, yeah, but... Shit happened, dog. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? It wasn't that simple. He went against Wakanda and was about to sell us out to shit. You but, know, take us out. But his dad was still on the same shit he was on. His dad spent so much time in fucking America. In America. Uh, and and he, they, they could tell you because it was when he did this. It was around the year of nineteen ninety two. Mm -hmm. So this is like a new around the riot times and the Rodney King times. So and he's been it, spying there for before that too. So and you got to watch it build to that shit. Apparently, the characters they have to play because these niggas are spies. They playing these California niggas, which they excellent on point for California niggas. I loved it. It probably was really mm -hmm. California niggas, dog. I mean, we talking about Hollywood here. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, they but, shot this in Atlanta, but we know what they what they do. It's like the fact that these their characters as spies was even then was still wanted by the feds for some kind of conspiracy because they was like on some revolutionary shit then in 1992 as their characters. But then your balls like also like man I'm also from Wakanda, right? I'm trying and, to revolutionize this shit for real, for real. I mean, he was a layered character because like later on when Killmonger goes to um, his, uh, we'll get to yeah. Well, when he when he go when he sees his father again and 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 it's a trippy thing because. When uh well first of all Keen D what y'all saying about Kill Mike before I get before I continue? Or we, we still on his daddy? Yeah. I mean we only talk about his daddy get to him <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like he's 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 the main uh, character we could get back to him but like what y'all saying about Kill Mike? Who wants to go first? You can go first. Me? Yeah. Super complex though like a very layered character. First no all right when when he first showed up. There was a piece of me that like really wasn't fucking with the character too much. I don't know why. Like I feel like just the first like opening seconds of him was just kind of like, what? Okay. But just as everything went went on, like you just really got to understand where Killmonger was coming from. Like you kind of felt felt bad for him in a lot of ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know he was doing the most. He was I, doing the most. I've I I'm gonna have to say that I definitely fucked with him. With from the first moment I saw him, especially uh, going to an art exhibit. Oh. <laughs> and he's fresh. Uh, 
<laughs> he was fresh as fuck at the art exhibit. Oh, yeah, 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 I want yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going to an art exhibit and asking for the expert. <clears throat> asking the expert to show you around. Knowing you knew what all of this shit was. Wait, Fuzz, don't miss this, don't miss this part about it. It is in the African section and an expert with his white was like, Yeah! yeah. <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. You feel me? Yes. Which, which also had people watching him. Yes! Uh, he says that. He's like, y'all been having security watch me since I've been in this yep. motherfucker. He was a representation of a black American male. Yes, yes. Uh, going to this expert and like watching her explain to him shit that he knows all about. And you can see in his face the moment she starts to explain it. He knows what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Right. It really gets to the one that's from Wakanda. And he's like, and he corrects her. That's where you're wrong. It's like, ooh, all this is about to end up bad for everybody in this room. He was setting up. He wanted yeah. to get that W. <laughs> you heard me? He wanted yeah. to get that W. Yeah. He's like, because he knew he was going to get to the Wakanda thing. He, yeah. it, was, it was just a beautiful setup when we get introduced to Killmonger. Yeah. And this stabs his character once again, Um, like, strive to be the best. This nigga did the military. He did SWAT. He didn't got all these cuts. He did the big ass like on Batman. He got cuts all over his body. I thought that was kills. dope as shit. I was like, damn, dog. For like you don't fucking work. He done all so many people. people. That's like Zaz off Batman. It's a Batman villain that does that. Every time he kills somebody, he etches something in his skin. Ah. So when, when they when they flipped, I was like, oh, okay, I see hmm. how y'all did that. Though. You feel me? So yeah. wow, yeah. And and, they, they, and I love the fact that they, when they gave us his stats. They let us know, though, he's formidable. Like, mm. this ain't gonna just be no pushover whenever we have the showdown. And mm. they didn't even, like, waste time with the showdown. Nope. They no. got right to it. <laughs> he got right to it. Yeah, yeah he, he did. right down the business. I just need somebody to get me out these chains. You know Straight I mean? up. So, kill, like, Killmonger, I just, he just was, and he just was the representation. Because at, at, a, at a point, it's jarring to see, you know, Michael B. Jordan play the villain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you see him trying real hard to get us to really not like him. At times, and that's what I was, I was, I was meaning. It's like I could tell that he was really just trying, trying. to be the villain. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like that's the part that I didn't like about him at first. But like I say, as we got into the shit, you I was like, okay, why he has the chip? You know, you and yeah. out, the you chip know, yeah. on his shoulder. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, right. That that chip. that's that's what makes all that makes more sense. It's like okay, I see what that was. You have this, you have a righteous chip on your shoulder. Your dad was killed, and you was left there to find his body, and nobody explained Explain nothing. Nobody did nothing for you. You was on your fucking Nigga own. Left you and all you know is that the Wakandans did it. Like what? And you just knew you had to train. You had to be the best of the best to even get a sniff or a whip to get close enough to get your fucking revenge or get what you feel is rightfully yours. Because on top of everything, you royal blood. Yeah. Right, dog. That thought is essentially yours, dog. In some sense. Or at least you have a say. At the very least, you got a say. You the top nigga and you ain't even got a seat at the table. You got a say in the shit. What you saying, my nigga? Not to make y'all lose y'all thought, but like, y'all just made me remember, I really like at the very beginning of the fucking movie when the Black Panther first come out, mm-hmm. the fucking lights like flash oh, oh, and he was there. In the trees and shit. I was like, oh shit. Attacking like a fucking panther, nigga. I was like, dog, they fucking stomped them spears, doomed. Them fucking lights went off, up, Black Panther in your Boom. face. I was like, oh shit. And, yeah. I thought, and all the rituals, dog, all the rituals, all the movements, everything yeah. that they just threw in there because one thing that really was pointed to me that fucked with me and um, it, fucked with me, it fucked with me throughout the movie and it really was shown to me visually is after uh, Michael B. Jordan character the Killmonger, he uh he ascends to the throne. He whips uh, Michael B. Jordan. He whips T'Challa's ass after bringing Ulysses Claw to him. He gets his way in. Blah 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 blah. And um, you know he has to have that healing. And one at a point we're gonna get to when T'Challa do it. But there's this ritual where you heal under this sand and it heals all your shit. And then you go see your ancestors. And my nigga Michael B. didn't have no ancestors. Right. His shit didn't go to no foreign lands with panthers and bad shit that he was connected to. Right. This shit went back to goddamn Oakland. Oakland. Oh. I thought that was to go holler at his pop. You feel me? And that shit hit me in so many ways because that's us. That's all we. We, we don't know really what we connected to. And like we a black of us don't even have a fucking. And that pop. and that's why he's so fucking mad because it's like my nigga, we got to see Black Panther go to the majestic nigga. His dad turned into a panther god and he's like ah, purples and trees right. and shit. Come live and with this, the ancestors and royalty. This nigga go back to the Jacks. You feel me? He go back to the, the fucking project. Jacks. That's his fucking connection. And I was like looking at that because while I'm watching the movie, dog, I was feeling like, damn, 
We got all this this ritual that we don't even get to have. Like you Irish motherfuckers, you Italian motherfuckers, you Asian motherfuckers. You know what your great 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 great. You know what you connected to. Now I was feeling so jealous, not knowing what I'm connected to. So when I'm seeing these people doing these dances and doing these shakes and wearing these things, and I'm just like, just like wow. Giving you chills, right? I'm, I'm getting chills, and I'm like, yeah. oh, we really need orphans of history. And yeah. when I saw that scene, son, I felt so much for that nigga. He crying because all he want. It's for the be to be long and to be part of something, dog. And it's like since all I got is the black people I grew up with, well, yeah, my plan is to arm them with y'all shit. Cause imagine since you was a kid, you getting told by your dad that there's this magical black place where everybody got all the technology to hurt to kill the um to cure all pain, get all the weapons to do whatever they got spaceship weapons, Star Wars and Star Trek fucking weapons, nigga, and they just hiding that shit in Africa while niggas that look like you starving, dying, and being oppressed. That nigga said in the fucking movie, we gonna arm the oppressed man it's like it was almost hard not to ride with this yeah, nigga right. that's why right. i was gonna say right. um i roll with killmonger in this thing I, I, a little bit a little bit less than black panther because like i was like damn bro killmonger what you was riding for was so real you just being a dick i mean fuck it you gotta be a dick nigga and killed your daddy and you're on the throne and you're abandoned you know so what else you supposed to be like I know, he then was, then he you killed kill a whole him. bunch of people in the process throughout your journey just to get there. And he even said, I'm making these kills on my body worth something. You feel me? So I didn't do all this killing right, for nothing. nothing. <laughs> and that's why I feel like he beat T'Challa the first time because he was fighting for something much more. Mm -hmm. T'Challa was like, look, I'm looking for forgiveness and let's talk some shit out. He was like, ah, fuck nah. all that, my nigga. I'm here for vengeance. T'Challa didn't really want to fight. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, he mm -hmm. didn't. He yeah. just found out that his dad killed his uncle and now he has to fight his cousin. And you know what I mean? Even though, and like you, you dealing with like what you said. Killmonger been thinking of this fight his entire fucking life and what he was gonna do. T'Challa is real from the fact that he found out his dad ain't who he thought he was, and now he gotta kind of maybe kill his, uh, his 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 other his blood that he don't even know. It's like a, it was complex as fuck. That man. last scene at the end though, with Killmonger before you know he takes his last breath. That last scene at the end when he it's uh, beautiful. He, yeah, yeah, what he talks about is like all I do I want to come here. All I've been speaking about is fairy tale lands about this place. I and I see get it. it. <clears throat> and this is this, you know, I'm here. But I won't, but I know this. I won't live here because I will not be bonded here. Mm -hmm. Cause I come from some slave ships. I mean, that was the it was the most beautiful line he had at the very <clears throat> yeah. end. After T'Challa finally got his win, he he bust that ass, you know, everything went down. And T'Challa, he was like, cool move. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got me. And like, you know what I mean, T'Challa lets him see the sun set in Wakanda, which was like a beautiful view. And like, you know what I'm saying, um, T'Challa tell him like, we can heal you, dog. We, we saw a Ross character get shot in the spine. Day, right? In the spine. spine. They cured it in a day. Nigga, we cure death over here. Sister said, you live. <laughs> you know I mean? So he like, dude, we can cure you. But like you said, Seppi said, but what I'm going to do? What you going to do with me? I'm going to live in bondage. <laughs> Nigga, no. Just, I'm, I'm about to join my ancestors, which was the slaves that got thrown off the boats, that jumped off the boats. Yeah. The you know what I mean? Because I'd rather die here than live in bondage. Mm -hmm. Nigga. Man. Bro, just to go back also, when he talked about his daddy, uh, about how like, you know, he felt like maybe they're lost. Mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah, because his dad said that um, um, we're lost. And he's like, nah, maybe they're lost. Yeah, yeah, because in a way they were. And like in a way he got his wish even in death because at the end, you know, well, we're going to get to child in a second. But Killmine was an awesome villain, an awesome character. Like I said, at times, felt like Michael B. laid it on a little thick. Mm -hmm. But the writing and how everything came together was just amazing. So I want to see his character come again. I wish it could. I was so mad that they killed him off. Uh, uh, immediately. Son, I was like, wait, no, why are we killing them all? I feel like somebody yeah. bring back like this kind of ancestral thing. I don't know. I'd like to see some some more story development with Killmonger. Sure. Dude, he was, he was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to think of anything else that stood out about his character just off of like a first viewing because he, 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 he the, 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 I was just so great. His plan, I'm going to arm black people so they can, we can fight our oppressors. We're going to make the world bow to us. And then the world's going to start here again. And we're going to rule it as black people. Life started in Africa anyway. Like, what? That nigga was really like, he was one of the villains. It's like, dude, the conver this conversation, because they, sp they spoke about this on The Breakfast Club when Chadwick Boseman was getting interviewed about the conversation of, and he hinted at it. He's like, there's a conversation that's going to be had in this film. Chadwick Boseman was saying that that's never been held on film before that should have, that needs to be had. And I was wondering, like, what are we going to talk about? And then when they started having it, I was like, oh, that's, that's what it real was. That's real shit. Mm hmm Blacks and Africans and what's real. So let's get to T'Challa. Black Panther. 
Chad with Bozeman, you can't do no wrong. Yeah, you can. Mm. Maybe Peace. Thurgood Marshall. But, uh, oh, funny thing about Thurgood Marshall. Thur a relative of Thurgood Marshall specifically asked him to play the part. And that's oh, wow. why he took uh, it. Well, he then, said then himself he that, that I shouldn't even do it. I'm too dark. And since the relative asked him, he, he well, said, well, I'm going to do it. That, right. And anybody who ever, watched, who ever listened to us in the past, we railroaded his ass for taking that role. Sure you feel did. me? But I found that out recently. But what y'all saying? Chadwick Boseman is Black Panther. He's amazing. Child. Astounding, dog. Like, he's, a, he's absolutely amazing. He's absolutely like... I was sitting in the crowd and I was like, I wish I had this movie as a kid. Hmm. I said that a couple of times. Like, I, I wish I would have I would have seen oh my God. this you, as you, a kid. You bring me back to this one of my favorite parts of the night, dog. Yeah. We're chilling, people walking down steps. And, uh, you know, we all sitting waiting for the post credits. And um, this little girl tell her mommy, um, my favorite character was his sister. And um, the mom said, oh, uh, the smart one? She was like, yeah, she was so smart. And I'm like, that's, that's what this is we, for. Yes. This little black girl, that's, that's she bonded need. and took in the sister Shuri being this super intelligent girl, um, character or whatever. She saw herself. That's why when people was trying to say, it's just a movie, I don't get the big deal. Nigga, it's a big fucking deal it's for representation deal. Right. to be seen in the media and for us to be seen as powerful. Because when kids see themselves as powerful, they win. Right. Why is that so hard? But back to T'Challa with D-Mac. Bruh, man, like, where do you fucking begin? Awesome looking costume, dawg. I really like the way he fucking spoke, dawg. Like, mm -hmm. I just feel like just like whenever he talks, so calm, cool, it's like, collected. bruh, just like everybody shut the fuck up. And he had listen. regalness in his voice. Mm -hmm. He's a king. Like the and fucking he made accent. Up the accent. He made that up? In the interview he was speaking of, like, he created the accent um, based off of... Um, he took different amalgamations of things. He settled on like this one area, of course, like I said earlier. Yeah. But he specifically wanted to sound like Wakanda's never been colonized. Mm -hmm. So he was like, he didn't want to have, have any kind of um, influence from white people at all. And there's certain accents that's in the African diaspora right now that have been colonized. So this shit don't sound like it, like it might have used to. So he did his fucking research and he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create one that would sound... Unlike a colonized um, freaking country, but still African, and he did Damn, his thing. That wow, shit was it, amazing, it was smooth, dog. Right? especially when you hear how you talk in real life. You're from like South Carolina, nigga. yeah, 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 right, right. It's like man, like that's just just so worked for his fucking character, dog. Just his acting was on point. His uh, I don't know if he did all his stunts, probably not, but the probably not, he did nah. it was pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just you just gotta bow down to Chadwick Boseman in this role. He 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 led the whole movie through, even though it was a dynamite cast. He led the whole movie through. Didn't let down for a mark. You saw a lot of everything about T'Challa as a character, from his anger, his passion, his defiance, his different thinking of of how he feels about Wakanda, and as it goes forward, from his own father, mm -hmm. his willingness to challenge that. His moment of um, of defeat, which I feel like every superhero and every king, she got to go through some real shit. Yeah, you got to get your back broken at least once. You got to, sir. Yeah. You see number badassery. At a point, you got to have a reason to cheer for him or to root for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that as of right now, my favorite superhero is Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's and, all and the I'm most saying. interesting, one of the things about T'Challa, and it's a, it's a funny thing too, we can see as black people. Like black people, we got to wear so many fucking hats in this country. And T'Challa's not just a superhero. He has to be a superhero, but he's also a king. And as a king, he has to make decisions for his country. And that's very unlike most superheroes who just got to look out for their city, not make political decisions. Like I said, when he first called Claw, he could have killed Claw right there. And then had to say, the world is watching. Then he had to remember, I'm a king. I can't, as a black king, kill this white man in cold blood as he begs for mercy, even if he's full of shit. Even if I would have had him back in Wakanda, his dick could be pulled from his throat. You feel me? So I, com I completely those understand Those responsibilities. That. Yeah, but there was a piece of me that just wanted me to fucking just slash him. Just slash him one time. You but, know? He could, but he's but king. No, you can't. He's right. He's king. Of, of course not. And of superhero. Yeah. And man. Yeah. You feel me? His character, the, the, the fact that his character was all... And his father told him a great line of, you're a good man with a good heart, and it's hard for a good man to be yeah. king. Ooh. Yeah. Right. 
some of the realest Whoa. shit ever spoken. You feel me? And that shit was so real because you could see that he, even in Captain America Civil War, he was battling with being a good man, even in trying to avenge his father's death. And he had that scene with the nigga, he, he, he finds a nigga who killed his father and he decides not to kill him in Civil War because he had an understanding. You watch so much growth that happened in his little part in Civil War and it, it carries over this movie where you just like, every time he spoke, you just instantly respected him. You never you never thought for an instant he wasn't this character or he mm-hmm. wasn't for real. You feel me? He he. You wanted him to win. You because yeah. even, even in his first fight, man, it was whipping that ass at times. You really right. felt yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. This is this, this is you want a boy. He's a boy. Fuck out, hit that boy in the head, but beating yeah. the show. He leaked that boy. Right. The boy he took King, he leaked him. Yeah, Dude, yeah, 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 he yeah. had to earn that right. And <laughs> now, <laughs> off the rip, boy, you want to be King? You gotta get beat up first. You gotta go through this like some real gang shit, nigga. And you go, you gonna earn this? Almost like I wish our cup government would have fucking presidents that could do battles. Since right, they something. If right. you gonna send us in to go do battle, you better prove to me that you tested, mm. bitch. Bitch. You feel me? And T'Challa is like the ultimate type of nigga you could look up to, nigga. He badly, he, he a king that's going out on mission to make sure shit is still good for his country and being a dignitary, dignitary, you know what I mean? And like throughout the story, you know what I mean, trying to, oh, he's on a quest to be king, he's trying to deal with the fact that his dad's dead and then he got this usurper coming and he, he's still trying to become king and get his own respect, mm-hmm. you feel me? And it's just, it was just a great freaking arc for him and every action scene and every time he had to whip some ass and thank nice. you Shuri for giving him them fucking Panther sneakers Yes, that I didn't make sound, yeah, sneakers. Sneakers. that didn't make sound. <sighs> You dig, and like when he when he woke up from when he when he called his dad to task and said, "Why did you leave that? Why did you leave him, bro?" He shamed all the ancestors. Yeah. Bro, he's like, "Y'all niggas are all wrong, <laughs> bro. This is wrong. We can't be keeping this from our people. They are all our people." Because he was even on the kick up. The American black people are our people, but the world are our people. Like he made it like about black people. Then he made it universal as well because he was like, "Dude, what we have here could actually save the world, and we just weren't about Wakanda. How selfish is that? Like when you know better, you do better. With great power comes great responsibility. All that shit wrapped up in the one, and he had to really take that in. And it was the black women in his life mostly saying, "Hey, nigga, like, yeah, you need to be a, big, a better king than the people before you. You know what I mean? And it was uh, in the end, he always just proved that he was someone that you will always want to like." A spy to be like in a way, you know what I'm saying? Because man, he just knew it for this for forward thinking, bro. But I can't. He had to I, learn it. But I can't get mad at also at the people who did want to believe that you got to take care of Wakanda because everywhere else the world's fucking up. Yeah. But is that somewhat your fault for having it and not sharing it and watch them fuck yeah. up? Or is it? Or is it your? Or is it? Something responsible to say, hold on, you're not ready for this yet. He didn't want to mm-hmm. kill his cousin. Man, it feels. It, it feels like to me like. Because we've been watching uh, superhero movies, like, especially me with you over, uh, like, us as a unit over the years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This feels like the first superhero movie where the 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 main character, the main uh, superhero, had the weight of the world on their shoulders. You yeah. know what I mean? It's normally, like, just their city that mm-hmm. they're trying to protect. Well, I mean, Avengers always got to, you know. I mean, yeah, but it uh, it's the Avengers. Avengers That's a whole a, team. Avengers yeah. have a like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's still a whole team of people doing this. It felt like T'Challa had the weight of the world on top of him. It goes back to being <laughs> king. He's the king. Yeah. You feel me? His whole, his shit was usurped. Like, it was a trippy thing when he came back to regain his kingdom and like them people that was fighting him had a point to fight him mm-hmm. you know what I mean like nigga you ain't king right now right you know yeah. what I'm saying so it's like dude there's a big deal about king they got they got tribes that they, 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 all you, that you have to answer to and have to answer to you there's so much shit that go into it and he handled that shit man yeah, yeah. with grace you dig? Um, I'm, I can't wait to see future movies, bro. Like, I can't wait to see. Because he even said it himself as an actor. He was like, man, because um, uh, Charlamagne was trying to ask him something about, because uh, uh, you know he played Jack, he played all these characters. And uh, he was saying, like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like you've made it? Some shit. He was like, I'm still working this character, though. Like, mm. I haven't found, uh, there's, two, there's more layers to freaking dive into. And I'm still figuring him out. There's still things to do. Because like we said, we haven't even brought him over into America and to superhero land. Yeah. This was a king really just setting the foundation for his kingdom. Mm-hmm. So much was in fucking Wakanda and he was there to really save Wakanda. Like, I remember I was watching the trailers and when they had that, I saw that final fight between the, uh, Killmonger and him. I thought that was going to be in America. So when they fell into the fucking vibranium canyons and shit, I was like, oh, 
We're Wakandan the fuck out. Let's go, mass. Yeah. Let's get it. Black, 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 and black, black. Black people <laughs> everywhere. Black people about, everywhere. We about to fucking yeah. do stage two studio CGIs and everything to make this look like the Africa you always wanted to be. And they put money in it. They put money and in it. And I like how they was like, you know, we're a third world country. We poor as fuck y'all to the rest of the world. Don't fuck with us. We poor. Yeah. We, we, Yo, we and he was funny. America don't even want to help them. Like, talk. what they said, they tried to deny it. They're yeah. Like, and they just, America just wrote them off as some savage black people, but we not, dog. And, you know, big ups to you, T'Challa. Big up to T'Challa. Big ups to you, Chadwick Boseman, for taking this role on because, dude, it's a big role to take on. Yeah. It, it's some major shit when you put, when, when you take on the this first, role. the first black superhero. You know what I'm saying? In mainstream. Yes, people. Let it go. He's the first black superhero. Yeah. Mainstream. Because, you no, know, people get mad because it was like, Blade. why y'all keep on saying he the first black superhero to get a movie when we had yes, Man we were saying. and Blade and no, 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 no. He's the first black superhero and he's getting his first movie. Not the first black superhero to get a movie. Like, y'all niggas just be quick to fight. And, dog, can we just all, can we enjoy things? I was like, right. I stand can by, we like, enjoy can things? we just enjoy Anything? things? Any, any goddamn thing? You hear me? Any any final thing to say about the child of this movie at all? It was amazing. Oh, Go man. see it. Oh. Out of five stars, I get that bitch a ten star. Um, I'm gonna Go see it again. See I'm gonna it. see it again with, in a matinee when they got no kids. So I guess, you know. Oh, cause them kids were blowing me. Yeah. Kids was kicking the back of my goddamn fucking chair times. But one thing I'll give our 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 uh who we saw it with when the movie started though. They were they were silent. They had all those memes about how we was gonna be raucous and be doing all this talking in the movie. And the most part, black people sat there and watched. And watched the movie. They had a few little dbdbd, deep, 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 but for the most part, I it sat in the fucking good. theater full of black people of all ages, nigga. And Nobody we was trying to have their own fucking movie. Nope. Because yeah. we were there to watch our movie. That was our movie, y'all. Yep. That was our movie. Yeah. Bruh, in the movie theater, you saw like maybe four white people out of the whole movie theater, and they was going to see shit like Peter Rabbit. Peter what Rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had another movie that came out today? I mean, Those that's, two that's other movies. They come out, there's just two other movies that was out. Really? I had no idea. So yeah, man. So uh, that was our first take, our first reactions on the entire movie. Yeah. We went character by character. You um, heard it here first. That, that movie is amazing. This is us just seeing it one time. I will be seeing this movie a couple of more times, most likely. And I'm gonna own it. You hear me? It, it is worth the own. It's worth the buy. It's a beautiful thing that it was even fucking made, and they made it. They did it right. Big ups to thirty year old Ryan Coogler for directing this. Young this. Buck, nigga, because he's had hits, nigga, from Fruitvale to Creed to this. My son just knocking it out the park with each one. He's picking his projects correctly, and each one he takes it up to another level. If you only saw Fruitvale, that's more of an indie film. You take it to Creed. That's a bigger movie. He had another movie in between that though. Uh, with a bigger, with a big person. What was it? Uh, it has a big movie. My phone's died. He but did. He did. Fruitvale. He did Creed. No, it's, a, he it's, it's, a, it's a big movie. It's a big movie he directed. Uh, what was it? It's an Italian movie. And that. each one, he just takes it to the next fucking level, dog. Because when I saw Fruitvale, I couldn't imagine that this the dude that's gonna do Black, Black Panther. Panther. Mm-hmm. And that mother's gonna back him out of all the people they you know they work with. Cause and so yeah, man. I wonder who vouched for that. I like mean, Ryan Coogler. I mean, Ava turned it down. I forget for what reason she had her she had her freaking reasons, but uh, Ava Ava turned it down because one thing I will give Marvel was they knew they needed a black director. That's damn sure right. You feel me? So they they made sure that they were going to get a, a black director. So I I I I prove I'm glad they did that and it just served us right because they had the different the, the small little uh what well, I'm gonna say uh. Our colloquialisms or the intangibles about black people that was just you just knew you got it from a black lens. I'm so surprised uh, Octavia Spencer wasn't in it. <laughs> I mean, this is something that she should be in. Or uh, Viola Davis. No, he don't got nothing else. So look it up, bro. What? No, he have short film Locks, then Fig, a short film, then another short film called The Sculptor. Then his first big movie was Fruitvale Station. Then he did Creed. Then he did his, uh, he directed a TV series episode Scenes for Minors. Then Black Panther, dog. Damn, I must be thinking about the uh, the director of uh, Friday. Maybe, dog. Our thirty year old nigga, he, this dude is thirty with three big hits. Well, well, first we want a big hit, but critically acclaimed, three critically acclaimed films. Knock him out the park, Rick. Knock him out. N- you got knock that him out cool. the park. You got that cool. So, uh, yeah. yeah, man, I'm probably got more to say on this movie because most likely I'm gonna be reviewing this again in more in depth after I see it another time. But I'm uh, telling people who you are so we can get up out here, man. 
Oh, well, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, this your boy D Mac, and like I said earlier, get at me on all your social media outlets at French Bread underscore Kid. And I so fuck with this Black Panther. I'm definitely gonna see it again. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple of more layers I want to dig through. So uh, you can't yeah. say you know about you guys, nigga. I just said <laughs> I'm definitely okay. gonna see this motherfucker. Yeah, again. man, no doubt. So uh, yeah, we out here. War well, Nice, your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo. And then you're out in the streets and you're looking for me. You can find me on Facebook at Joseph Alpha Man Pines, Instagram Alexander the Ape 3, and for Wakanda post uh, post game talk about, you heard it here first. We out this bitch, Wakanda forever. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's your boy, right? It's your boy Heem, Raheem Glassby. You can find me everywhere, underscore the great Glassby. Yeah. Don't you like an album Wakanda, coming out or something? Amazing. Oh, yeah, I do have an album coming out. No more karaoke. You can find it anywhere real soon. <laughs> coming to a vagina near you. <laughs> it rocks and it rolls. You know what I mean? And it's that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. You can find me on all your social media platforms at Mr. Bats. Spell it Mr. Outer. You ain't going to find me. And like one, like everybody's saying, we're going to keep saying over and over, but it's, it's a movie for the culture. It's a movie that needs to be seen. I'm glad that so many kids got to see it. I'm just mad that I had to see it with them. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Uh, but it, it was a beautiful thing. And I'm never going to forget that little girl seeing herself on screen. And it reminded me just how important these things are and in a way what we do like you know what i mean as artists you know what i mean because artists we shape the culture we let everybody know what the deal is we, we 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 keep things moving we keep things going and a film like black panther it has nothing but inspiration all over it without even trying too hard it's just showing us that how how awesome we already are how awesome that we we can be how awesome that we have been because dude like it was nothing surprising no, Man. no, it was just uh, about really... black people. You know what I mean? The fact that we so smart or we so artistic or we got all these different shades, or the fact that no, none of surprising. Like, no, niggas, what happens if you just let us do our thing and let us do what we do with the technology we got and stop trying to enslave us and take everything from us and rip us of all our culture and rituals and all our goals and jewels? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if, you, if you do all that, if you just take, if you just you know give us our life back, we'd be all right. <laughs> I was I, I was gonna say yeah man like just just describe the when we go when we when we're our best selves dog you see you see you see the results I mean every time yeah you look see? At, the history books sell the leave stories. us alone Wakanda um, was left alone see like Black Wall Street should have left it alone we had our own money. <laughs> I thought you about to say something else. He's, he's I'm, saying, I'm just, just, <laughs> cause we we've been bombed many times and we kind of wasn't feeling that. I'm just trying to last minute think if there's anything else on the child I want to fucking say because like yeah, that's what I'm trying shout to say. out to the musical squad and shit that was amazing. Not me yeah. specifically to child. I feel like there was something in the back of my head about his freaking character that just like. I, well, I mean, we big up and we suck this dick enough. You go see the movie yourselves, you get ass, man. Hit us up at flywithbats at gmail.com. If you have anything to say about Black Panther yeah, at tell us how you feel. all, tell us how you feel. I want to hear your comments. I want to yeah. see, I want to know your favorite scenes. I want to know how you felt when you left that motherfucker, how hard your dick got. You feel me? Even if you don't have a dick, your dick had to get hard. So, you know, I feel that. You hear me? So, uh, once again, thanks for listening. Tell your peeps about us. Subscribe to us. Share, comment, all that there. Till next time, we out. Later. What kind of forever, bitch? Come out! The Black, Black Panther, Panther is ready for you!